Yo, what's up guys, Co Reefing here. Wanted to give you guys a quick update. I went and tested my water today at three different stores. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. These are the results from the first store. The top slip being my 80 gallon and the bottom slip being my 25 gallon. So as you guys can see, I got a little bit of nitrate kind of creeping up there in the 80 gallons. So I think I'm going to throw in some Microbacter 7. I am forced to do a water change now. Oh no, not again! And that is mainly because my calcium is just way too high. It is at 839. So maybe that's why the bubble coral isn't so happy in the tank. Everything else is fine. pH is at 7.9. And my alk, actually it seems a little bit low, but I think it's low because of the calcium being so high and it just precipitating all of the alk that I'm dosing into the tank because I do have a aquaforest liquid that doses alkalinity straight to the tank. So that's what I'm gonna end up doing to the 80 gallon is water change. And my plan is to do like a 30 gallon water change I have like a 32 gallon brute trash can so I got that kind of circulating right now and, and getting up to temperature so that I can throw some some salt in there some salt mix and then the bottom is my 25 gallon that I actually did a water change here recently but my calcium in that tank is actually high as well that I don't dose with anything so I don't know how calcium got that high yeah, I'm just going to have to do a water change to get that calcium level low. Alkalinity is a little bit better in that tank. pH is also sitting at 7.9 and my mag is, is decent. Again, I don't have any crazy corals in these tanks as you guys have seen. So I'm not trying to keep SPS or anything. But I'm also not trying to have my water too out of whack for the corals that I do have in there and the nitrates in the 24 gallon in the lower slip there are at 24. So not that bad, but I can bring those down via a water change here soon because I also wanna drop down those, that calcium level actually. So that was the first store and I will actually show a clip here of what another store actually tested for those two tanks. I'm gonna pop those up on the screen here so that you guys can check those out because I took screenshots of that. They didn't have little slips like this and their email option for the aqua spin, which is how I got my test results today is the first store had an aqua spin, so I did that. And then the second store also had an aqua spin and I had to pay for both, but you know, I was kind of curious to see if I would get the same results from both and they're a little bit off. So, you know, even the aqua spins aren't consistent. They were consistent on some things and or close, right? But yeah, I just, I wanted to test it out. From the third store that I went to, they actually did manual tests. They didn't have the aqua spin there. And if you guys aren't familiar with the aqua spin, just YouTube it or something, but a lot of your local stores might have it. It's kind of cool. You just put in a sample of your water into this plastic disc. It spins in this aqua spin. A machine and that actually will will return like seven different tests for you all in one test so those are pretty cool um, check them out if your stores have them they're pretty fast and from what I hear accurate here we have the tests from the third store and the third store actually does manual testing via the Salifert test kits they were kind of accurate um, compared to what I was getting out of the aqua spins, right? So the, on this right side, I did have the 80 gallon. Uh, salinity might be 0.1 too high, but even 1.026 isn't that bad. My alkalinity 7.3 for both tanks. Nitrates obviously a little bit higher in the 80 gallon. So I need to get those down via water change and then just obviously the calcium being over 500. I, again, just need to do a water change to get those down. 
And then on this left hand side, it's not looking that bad, right? So alkalinity is at 7.3, nitrates 25. Again, I'm gonna do a water change to try to get those down to like 10. I don't wanna have zero. And then of course, doing that water change to get that calcium level lower as well. Here I am getting ready to do that water change. What I plan on doing is actually taking some water out of the tank into these five gallon buckets and then marking it like on the left side over there closer to the wall on how low the water level gets so that I don't have to keep remeasuring and I can just kind of take five gallons or 10 gallons or 15 gallons out of this tank without having to measure it via a five gallon jug or a five gallon bucket. So that's what I'm gonna do today. Hopefully my calcium levels go a little bit lower. I might test in about two weeks. I don't wanna test every weekend because it can get expensive. Yeah guys, just wanted to share with you guys kind of what those test results look like, why my bubble might be dying and are receding quite a bit. I hope I can do this water change fast enough so that I can save my bubble coral but I don't know, I guess I haven't seen those come back as often as I would like. But yeah guys, um, in the next video, I will be showing you guys something that is gonna go between my two XR15s. Calm down everybody. And it's a newer light, and these mounts that I got for that light are actually new as well. So if you guys are interested in possibly Copy in me, I'll have those links in the description of that next video so that you guys can check those out as well. But I'll let you guys go. I'm gonna get to this water change and I'll see you guys in the next one. Co-reefing, out. Taking out water. So far I've taken out 10 gallons. This will be 15 here. I'm gonna mark the tank after 15 because I forgot to mark it during 10 and five, so yeah. The front is getting a little bit too low, so I'm actually pulling five gallons out of the back chambers here. Still going hard. That's what she said.